Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can use a uh, React Date Picker from Air Airbnb and uh, how to install it and get started using it right away. It's pretty simple. Um, so here's how you do it. First thing you do is you install M uh, React. So you go to your folder and go React MPX create React app. And I'm just gonna name it Date Picker 2. Wait for that to finish installing. Okay, so I have a uh, React app installed. So next step is go to our folder. I'm gonna go open folder in VS Code and go to date picker, date picker two. And here we're going to install two things. We're going to install React Bootstrap and React um, date picker. So you go to the console and then you go to npm install save. React Bootstrap and React Dates. And wait for that to install again. Okay, so we're back. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to source.app.js, uh, remove the console. And we're going to copy and paste a few things at the very top. We're going to go ahead and import, uh, remove, replace this with a React component. Um, import React component from React. Uh, bootstrap, this is for Bootstrap, so import that. Um, and then this is import date.serialize, that's from uh, that's from the documentation. If I go back to the documentation just to check. So we have to, so getting started, uh, we have to import um, Serialize. We we can ignore this part. We don't have to do that. Um, or some it's for something else. I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, then we can import it. Import React dates here. And then uh, we have to import date range picker, single date picker, date picker range. You only have to uh, of these three. You only need the one that you use. And then we have to have the import um, date picker .css. So we have the initialize, we have the bootstrap uh, CSS, which they don't show you on the documentation, but you need. And then we have uh, date picker CSS dot, dot CSS here. And then we're going to use date range picker, but you can use single um, or we can remove these. So why don't we do that right now? We can remove these since we're not using them for this demo, but you, can, you get the point if you if you're going to use a single date picker, you can go ahead and use that. You know what? I'll just leave it in. Um, okay, next. We're going to go ahead and create, uh, change this to a class. And we're going to put a constructor in for the states. So remove that. I was just toying around with it. So start date is null, end date is null. And I'm putting these here so that you can access the states pretty easily while we're um, playing with the uh, demo. And then um, in the header, we're going to uh, remove the header. And we're going to do the bare minimum. We're going to go back to the documentation and we need we have to get the very minimum that we can to get started. So it's this right here, day range picker. Here's the minimum required set we need to get the date range picker working. So we're going to copy and paste this to right here. And then we're going to change this to render. Tap that in, and I think that should work. So if we go to our console and go npm start, should work. Yep, we have the start date and the end date. And 
to access the dates, all you have to do is do something like um, I'm going to add in some buttons here. So copy and paste that in. So on click, it's going to alert start date, and on click here, it's going to alert end date. So let's uh, create the functions in React. So this is the start start date, and this is the end date. So we're going to do alert start date. Alert this dot state dot start date should work right there. Alert and date alert this dot state dot end date should work. So we play I'll uh, refresh that and if I select um, 23rd and then the 29th Saturday November 23rd for the start date and Friday November 29th for the end date so that's basically how you use react date from Airbnb it's uh, react dates it's a very interesting tool um, if I change this to single date picker control refresh so that's not working I think you have to change these um, variables around for the single day picker to work. I think same goes for day picker range controller as well. If I <clears throat> go to that, um, so this shows up, that's the uh, other option, but we're using the date uh, range picker, so that's the one that should be working for now. Once again, 23rd, 10th, 23rd and the 10th. So that's how I use Day Range Picker from Airbnb. It's a great software tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.